Just outstanding execution on the offensive end. As Pokashevsky high arcing three, that one's going to rim off. Because he can make plays like that, prove to the league that he can be one of the best at scoring the basketball. Pokashevsky waiting patiently. Starting to salivate looking oh, yeah. at the rim, when right? you see that, you can wind up on a dunk shot. Man, that's exactly what you do. <laughs> and we've seen him wind up some dunks. Pokashevsky going right at Bledsoe. Clearly, New Orleans is a strong team. And I think that that was a, a nice distinction there between Mark Dagnall and in terms of physicality and strength. Well, you can't be a, a physical team without, you know, if you're not going to go to the painted area. And that's what they do. They, you know, they score a lot of their points in the paint. In terms of physicality and strength. Well, you can't be a, a physical team without, you know, if you're not going to go to the painted area. And that's what they do. They, you know, they score a lot of their points in the paint. Well, you can't be a, a physical team without, you know, if you're not going to go to the painted area. And that's what they do. They, you know, they score a lot of their points in the paint. As the Thunder is starting to heat up here on offense, a nice little modest 5-0 run with that last three ball. Well, it has certainly been showcased since his return from that injury. Poku's running with the left hand a little too strong. Well, it has certainly been showcased since his return from that injury. Poku's running with the left hand a little too strong. Brown trying to stay with it. Knocks it free. Pokushevsky. And it rolls off. Poku's running with the left hand a little too strong. Brown trying to stay with it. Knocks it free. Pokushevsky. And it rolls off. But good hustle that time. Creating the. Boy, New Orleans with some point blank misses inside. Surprising. Catch fire three from the wing. And it's ball skying for that rebound. That was a. Kind of a fun little play there because you had Ingram defending Pokashevsky, and Pokashevsky had made the decision to put the ball on the floor as his first free throw is good. In any game throughout your whole career, you, you, the, the, you, you're, you're doing something, and that's what he'd done already as a rookie. In the middle screen and roll. 7-2, he's slow a foot. He's long, but he's not trying to come out there and guard that. Pokashevsky. Head of steam. Thor does a good job of setting the pass out to the perimeter, but Bledsoe is wide open and the Thunder catch a break. Yeah. Thunder dodged a bullet on that particular possession. Maladone was determined. Pokashevsky there on the weak side had a chance, had a look. Thunder dodged a bullet on that particular possession. Maladone was determined. Pokashevsky there on the weak side had a chance, had a look. And the Thunder trailing. By 17, it was the Pelicans who went on that big run. Over the final near eight minutes. First shot from Pokashevsky. That one rims out. And, and Zion only had four points in that first quarter. So he got what? He had 16 in the first half. And 12 came in that second quarter. Uh, of, of a lot, you know, of time of development. And they're a young team. And Stan Van Gundy is going to figure this out with his team. And Stan Van Gundy is going to figure this out with his team. As they got a lot of talent, they're never short on that. In his tenure. Well, it is a, a stacked up Western Conference, as we have seen. But that is an off balance, tough shot by Ingram. Hernan Gomez sets a wall there for Ingram, and then he slices inside. And it's tapped out. And a reach and foul by Poku. As the Thunder work through its offense here. Poku off balance. Put it up over Zion Williamson. That's a tough shot. Now, uh, you know, I'm, I'm happy with that. He's only got two points. How about Zion? He's got, he's, he hasn't scored at all in this third quarter so far. And you, you're it's right. the second time he's missed a wide open three. Yeah, you're right. That three point shooting is two of 15 now for the Pelicans. Just 13%. That was a concern from the Thunder coaching staff via Paris Lawson at halftime. Nobody wanted to shoot for New Orleans. You didn't really know that he had that kind of three point shot. I don't think anybody did, right? Well, and you got to realize that's probably player development as well. As the Thunder keep losing out on these 50 50 balls. And seeing that a little bit more here and getting some perimeter pressure over the last few games. Poku again using the, the pivot foot there to foot. He's built exactly like him, same type of game. Now why why don't we know more about him? 
Well, Rodney was not that type of a, didn't have that type of height. 